the history of, of efforts such as ours uh, tend to be, whether it's an NGO or CSO or a university or something else, tend to be that we do a good job of defining how we're different from everybody and trying to find a pocket or a niche to be in. But I think given the magnitude of the challenge we have, what we've got to do better than others is not defining that we've got a better answer, but in defining that we have a better way of, of working with everybody else who's already out there. I mean, what I heard today was fabulous. <laughs> Uh, I would have liked to stop many of you in the middle of your presentations just to know more about what's the future of education in the 21st century, that's Howard. Uh, and what Anne is doing, I've already had the opportunity and others. And I think the question is, the world, we're trying to get over this disciplinary silos, uh, but we've got organizational silos. And when we want a global social movement, this movement is not going to be compartmentalized and fragmented institutionally. It's going to be coming together. Uh, and the, the, the Jenna Declaration has principles that can be applied anywhere in any organization. And I just want to give you two examples to think about, but I think we can come up with many more. Uh, the World Academy is now working with the UN in New York on a proposal. We've been working for a year and it's getting for a global campaign on human security. And when I was listening to all of you, I was feeling so much of what you're doing and thinking goes well with this, coalesces with this. It's not a separate direction. It's a part of a wider movement. Uh, what uh, Benno was talking about, a platform, we also have within the academy this concept, which has not been implemented yet, but this concept of how to create a global platform where really humanity can have its voice. But when you think of doing that, it's not just an isolated website. It's a very big challenge where we need to engage many different organizations and resources. And we've had some serious discussions about how it would be done. And I'm, my purpose is not to, to mention a particular crop. I'm trying to illustrate, I think if we really put our heads together, we already have many strands the question is, how could we reinforce each other's efforts? What Howard's doing in education, I think I felt like I, I wanted to cross-examine and I'm going to we have a call tomorrow. <laughs> but there's so much we can that he's already doing that could be useful and applied in a, a wider area. So I think the technology we need to invent is one, not how we separate ourselves to create a separate identity, but how we do better than most others have done or we have done in the past in of mobilizing a, a common way of working together to reinforce each other's efforts because ultimately we want the efforts of global society to be reinforced not the efforts of any particular organization or group of people